Yeah, I'm not happy about the last episode. It was not brilliant. We had a little bit of a mare, and I, 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 just losing 4-1 to Everton, I've not recovered from it yet. And the worst thing is, if I didn't like losing to Everton, it's going to get worse, because there's a potential today we could lose to Manchester United, which in my mind is just no. Just, just no. But before that, we have two games against Brighton and against Norwich. So hopefully... We'll be able to get six points out of six and get ourselves back on track. The European dream is still alive, but barely. Let's put it that way. And with Juan Foyth currently sidelined, we return back to the sort of lineup that has kind of got us to where we are, with Saliba being the only player to come in. Morelos and Boadu up front, and Moise Keane not featuring from the start today. I need a response. We need a response. I certainly need one. Apologies there was no video yesterday and that it's coming out today. It's been a busy week for the channel with Football Manager 21 coming out. So if you guys haven't checked out those videos, make sure that you go and do. Uh, we're doing a save with Leicester. But obviously, from a FIFA point of view, don't worry. Videos will still be coming strong. I'm really into this career mode. I'm really enjoying it. And when I'm having a break from being shafted by Football Manager, I'll come over and get shafted by FIFA instead. Right, away we go. First day of the episode. First day? First game of the episode. There you go. Off we go. Come on, boys. Need a win. I actually haven't played a lot of FIFA recently since obviously FM has come out and mainly because I had a really bad weekend on Football Champs. I've had a little bit of a break from it. It feels like they patched the gameplay a lot recently. I hope that's not the same for career mode, but it does feel like there was a few patches that came out and it looks like they've literally just killed the gameplay that I really enjoyed at the start of the year. So nothing we didn't really expect. We've still got the best attack in the league despite what happened against Everton. It's just the fact that obviously defensively we kind of fell apart a little bit there as we tackle Neil Malpai. Right, now, break. Bodu, ball into Saar. Saar on it here. Come on, mate, where are you going? Moyano follows him. He's new. Bodu to Ruben. Ruben does well. That's a nice ball to Afred. I'm going to take it first time, and it's a great save there by the goalkeeper. A wonderful effort. I'm back. I'm back. Full kit, wanker. Sorry. Shouldn't have said that. Who's actually in goal? Walton's in goal. That's a great stop, to be fair. Saliba on the ball, now plays it wide to Tamori. Are we going to get a chance to nip it down the side here? I think so. Will Hughes. Neres makes a decent run over the other side. It's a great ball from Will Hughes to find him. Neres on the ball, shifts inside. Lovely bit of feet. He tees it. Will Hughes! Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Hughes to Neres and back to Will Hughes to finish it off. The captain scores. It's a big goal. Lovely player by Neres, just does his man there, and it was a great ball by Hughes to start it off. Can he finish it? You bet he can. In off the post, it's the kind of finish you love to see. First goal of the season for Will. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party, Will. And that's well played by Saar to get ahead of him there. Remember, Myron Boadu still going to score in every game this season. He's played a great ball to Morelos. Morelos? I don't know why I tried to chip it. I was being really cheeky and I didn't need to do that. Oh no, that's a good ball there. Richards is in. And he scored. I can't believe it. I thought I got close to him there with Tamori, but didn't have enough strength to knock him over it. And it's a good goal there by Richards. No idea who he is. Get out of my face, mate. I mean, yeah, just overcommit a little bit in the middle of the park. Taylor Richards. Never heard of him. First goal in the league? Never. Never. Mm -hmm. I'm getting frustrated. We create so much and just, just one chance. I always give away one chance. That's nice. And Will Hughes is on the ball now as we break away. I know, Myron. I see you. No, Will, 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 Will. Or me, rather. It was not a good ball, but we pressed them into giving it away. Once we break that press, we're in. As you can see here, yeah, there's loads of room once you break it. You just need to break through it first. Let's bow do. Ruben. Good ball out to Saar there. This is great from Saar. Saar tees it. Will Hughes, fake shot. Plays it back. Lovely turn by Myron. Oh, of course it is. Oof. Wow. I thought I'd more, I thought I'd missed the chance. I thought I'd bugged it up. But Myron Bodu, who just cannot stop scoring. It's another goal. Is he going to score in every go game of the season? Maybe. Lovely little roll there. And he just dinks it out of his feet. Round the goalkeeper. Lovely finish by Myron. 16 goals for the season. Come on. This is going to be a tight game, I can tell. We're not going to be able to walk away with it. And Richard in again. Great tackle by Saliba. Had to be committed, and he was. And away we go again. Kamavinga hits the ball through the back. He's looking for Boadu. Boadu can't quite get there. We just didn't quite have enough power on the ball. It wasn't at the right angle. We've moved it forward quickly here. Hughes on the ball. Into Morelos. Oh, they've not made the move. Morelos, nice ball around the corner. Back into Boadu. We're not committing too many forward. That's a lovely bit of play, though. 
Myron shift it inside. Bellew. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Oh, unlucky. Should really have put it to bed there. Are we going to pay for these missed chances? I thought I'd hit enough bend on that to get it in five minutes ago. And we're still only at 2-1. I could really do with getting a third and putting this to bed. Because I know I'm going to come under siege at the end of this game. But there will be chances on the counter if I play this right. Neres against Andone. Don't fall for it, mate. Just keep pushing away. We've done really well on our shape there. We've seen out the last five minutes without seeing anything of the ball. Uh, that's a big win. Make no mistake. That's a really big win. We do not want to lose back-to-back -back games. God, did I need that. Keeps us in touch with the rest of the top four. That is a big, big moment for us there. Thank God for that. I can't believe I'm like talking about how big it is and that like, we're talking about top four. If anything, we should be happy with 10th, but... Because we've come so far, I just feel like we should carry on. Ben Foster's throwing some shade at Bay, though, at the moment, saying that he would be a better replacement for him. Can't say I disagree, Ben, but I've got to have some idea on the future. Norwich are not doing too well in the league at the moment. They're down struggling, and I really, really hope that we can continue our good form by putting them to the... Well, putting them to the slaughter today, really. Norwich are struggling in the league a little bit further down the bottom, but this is a game I do expect us to win, and... There's no need to change. It was a pretty decent performance all the way through. I know that we play pretty much the same 11 all the way through, but most promoted sides would do that. If it is your starting 11, you may as well play them. But away at Carroll Road is never an easy place to go. Norwich have always given me a few issues on FIFA, especially this year. So this is not written, that's for sure. Well, Emi Bundir probably is the man we need to watch out for. He's easily their best player. So let's just keep an eye on him, keep him quiet, and I think we'll do all right in this game. They've got Adam Ida up front. He's pretty decent on FIFA as well. He can grow into a pretty good player. But Boadu's who's already nicked the ball from here. And they're facing some top quality players now. Morelos, first time. He's hit the bar. He was offside anyway, I think. Unlucky. But if that's how it's going to go, this could be a long day for Norwich. Good ball by Buendia there. Into Ida, who's managed to move away from Saliba. Saliba's dived in a little bit there. And by that, I mean I have. Oh my god, I got so lucky there. I'm all over the place at the bat. I could have given away a penalty. And then Baylor's had to make a very good save down to his right-hand side. Gone, Alfredo. This is a good run, mate. Shimmies it inside to Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He finds Boadu. Boadu. That's a nice ball by Boadu to Neres. Neres driving into the middle. Oh, that's so poor from Neres there. You've got to be beating him for pace, surely. Good tackle by Tuanzevi there. He went over a bit easy for my liking. And now on the counter. Hughes from Saar. Will Hughes, great ball out to Neres. Neres now with a bit of pace. He waits into Alfredo Morelos. Stop finessing it, Mike. Neres into Ruben. He won't piss about. And he has scored on his wrong foot. A great finish from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I thought he skewed it and it had gone wide. It looked like it was travelling in slow motion, but it's found the side netting. And we're 1-0 up. Get in. Nice bit of play there by Neres. He's having a very good day. And yeah, to be fair, the keeper's a little bit unsighted by his own player. But Ruben Loftus-Cheek makes it 1-0 after 24 minutes needed. Well done. You can tell they're lacking a bit of confidence, Norwich, in that final third. They're giving the ball away very easily. Asar. I mean, this could be wonderful. Saar, please. Oh, what a goal that is from Ismail Asar. The football there is scintillating. One touch stuff here. We move it from left to right. Look at this. One, two... Bang, what a goal from left to right really quickly. Saar just makes his way into the box. He's finally scored in the Premier League. It's taken him well enough. It's taken him... I didn't realise that was his first goal in the Premier League. That's pretty poor by a player of his standards. He should be getting more goals. And the big thing here is that Myron Boadu has yet to score. I mean, this could be anything now. Camavinga on the ball. Plays it into David Neres, who takes one to... On his left peg, what a finish by David Neres. What a counter-attacking goal by Watford. I said this could be a long day for Norwich. It certainly could be. We're on fire. Camavinga, good ball to Neres. He takes one touch to set himself. And on his wrong foot, absolutely slams it into the back of the net. Three goals for him this year. Beginning to pick up a little bit of pace and get used to the, the way that I want to play with this team. Three at the break. Not a lot that they can really do about it. And I think we're going to get to have some rotation before the United game, which is exciting. But more importantly, we need to make sure that Myron gets his goal. Got to say, it's been pretty insipid from Norwich at home. And you have to fear for them if they continue to play like this at home. Then you've got to fear that they're probably going to go down. That's lovely. Myron now. He's got the speed. Myron drills it inside. He hits it. Oh! You cannot stop 
Maron Bodu from the most unlikeliest of angles. What a man this guy is. What a player we have on our hands here. He is something special. Serious, searing pace. How has he scored from there? It's a ridiculous finish. It's 4 0. There's still half an hour to go. Ruben. Good ball to Tiao Pedro. I mean, he's found Saar. Saar here on the ball. Saar tees it. Oh, Moise Keane's missed it and it's fallen to Saar, but we all know he's offside there. We know he's offside. Ball is to Moise Keane there. He plays it into Camavinga. Camavinga inside. Yao yeah, Pedro. It's five. It's five. We're on fire. And Yao yeah, Pedro, every time he plays, he scores. He's unlucky not to really be in the starting 11, but Morelos and Bowen have been so good this year. But that is some finish. That's the finish of a man with loads of confidence. It's his second goal of the season. What a man. Played by Will Hughes there. Just stopping that from happening. And now the man, Durame. 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 Oh, you are joking. How has Mo missed that? We still, still can't keep a clean sheet though. Still can't keep a clean sheet though. That's so poor. Well, that's the end of that then. A 5-1 win. That last goal that they scored upset me a little bit. I just want to keep some clean sheets. But ultimately, Baylor saved the start. Did prove relatively crucial. We turned it on. And 11-8. David Neres getting mad of the match. Good. And so here it is, everyone, the big game of today's episode. And it is us at home to Manchester United, who are not doing too well, actually, at the moment. They're down in ninth in the table, which actually is better than what they're doing in real life. Oh, any excuse to throw a United dig in there. It's always interesting to see who United was signing. They've signed Mukiele, Bender, and Bus Busquets. Yeah, that sounds about right. In positions they don't really need, ageing players are baffling. So Myron going to score for his 14th game in a row. The record continues and this is a big, big game in the context of our season because these guys are probably now European rivals. We should really say that we are in the mix for it now with the form that we've been showing. Let's hope we can pull off a good result. Oh God, got to stop Bruno Fernandes. Don't let him have an effort. What a save. Well done, Baylo. Great save, mate. You know, it worked the ball really well there. He's the danger man. Building from the back then. Oh, hello. Neres has got away from uh, Daniel James there. Neres... Go on, there is. Up against Wambasaka. Cuts inside. Uh, it's a good tackle by Wambasaka. One of the best one on one defenders in the world. And Neres is going to have his work out if he's going to get anything there today. Martial into Bruno Fernandez. Just got to stop him. That's a lovely little play by Bruno Fernandez. Throw to Daniel James to Bruno. Stop doing the drag back. Great block there on Anti Martial. Now, away we go on the counter. Camavinga releases Saar. Up against Rashford. Rashford's probably one of the few players that can catch him. But Sars just drifted away from him here. We've got the overlap going. Forget that. It's Alfredo Morelos. Morelos! Oh! It's our first effort. And what a goal. What a breakaway goal. The counter-attack is real. That's a big goal. It's our first real foray into their half. Brilliant finish by Morelos. Top bins. Curling, swooping, magical. Uh oh There's a free kick here for Fernandez. Literally just about 20 yards out. Middle of the goal. Fernandez hits it. You knew, I knew before he'd even stepped up that was going in. Great finish by Bruno Fernandez. That's irritating. I mean, that's literally in the side netting. No keeper can save that. Great finish. It's a bit annoying. So, all the work we've done, kind of undone, to be fair. It's a nice ball there to Morelos. Finds Mo Myron. Boadu to Saar. Saar drifts inside. Finds Boadu. Boadu turns his man. Oh, it's a great block there by Mukiele. It's annoying. Ball by Neres to find Morelos. Morelos into Neres. Neres hits it. Oh, it's a decent effort. We've had our first little period of sustained pressure there. But Bruno Fernandes is dictating this game and I've got to find a way to stop him. He can't hit a second one in, surely. Not from that distance. Oh! <laughs> He's at the bar player. Yeah, Bruno Fernandes is ridiculous. We got a little, oh, I'd say a little bit lucky there. It would have been a wonderful goal, to be fair. Not a lot you can do about it, but oh my god, look at the counter we got on here. Neres, what a ball. Saar, one touch. Saar! Oh, I could have taken another touch in on goal. Neres found him with an absolute peach. I went for glory. I went for the really nice finish. I should have just taken the safe one. 
See it, another free kick. Saliba's given away three free kicks today. He's been brilliant in every other department other than maybe being a little reckless in the tackle. Oi, oi. Good tackle there by Tuan to be against his old side, don't forget. Morelos spots the ball in tomorrow and he's going to beat Bender for pace. Boadu squares him up. Ah, oh, it's a great tackle by Bender. Wonderful tackle. Oh, no. It's yet another Fernandez free kick within shooting distance. I'm scared. I'm terrified here. Fernandez steps up. Same old United. Always scoring from set pieces. That's a ridiculous finish. No open play goals from United as usual. Just penalties and free kicks. Gutting. Can't say they haven't deserved it. They've been the better team. We had our chance, really, with Saar, and he missed it. I'm absolutely gutted. It looks like Bodu's run's going to come to an end as well. Unless we can magic something up in the next 10 minutes. Oh, hello. I have no idea how he's just managed to bundle his way through about 10 players. There's that Trincao. He's literally just bundled his way through about 3 players here. Look, there's one there. That's just the same player. Tamori's just not strong enough. Tamori's just not strong enough there. It's Corona. I hate losing against United. I can't stand it, but I have to give them credit today. We've not really turned up. We've not really deserved anything from the game. They've been the better team by a long way. I've been out of my depth. And we're getting a little bit of a hiding here. A little bit of a hiding. Boadu's turned his man. Boadu hits it. Oh, it's a great save to stop Boadu from keeping up the record. United have done what no other club in the Premier League have managed to do. And they've kept Myron Boadu off the score sheet. Or have they? Yeah, they have. I can't believe it. United 3-1. Can't, can't argue with it. They were the better team by a long, long old way today. We were nowhere near. Bruno Fernandes was insane. And while that's congested things a little bit as well, United are now four points behind us. And with the game coming up against West Ham and a very, very busy Christmas period... And a tough one at that. It's going to be difficult. Next episode alone, we've got West Ham, Chelsea and Arsenal. So a lot of big games coming on the way. Prepare for the slide down the table. Thanks so much for watching this episode of my uh, FIFA career mode. Sorry, obviously, apologies for that. There was no real funny intro and stuff today. It's mainly just because I'm sort of running out of time. I've not been feeling particularly that well recently either. So I hope that you can kind of forgive me for this one-off of not doing one of my usual spectacular intros. But there'll be one on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do like, share and subscribe. So I'll see you again. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Stay cool.